Aquarius, hello, beautiful souls. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. So my friends, looking at your energy here in meditation prior and a couple Oracle cards being pulled as well, um, I feel like we've got a message that's coming through. So here we go, here we go. Aquarius, if you guys are new here, thank you so much for joining me. And if you're returning, it's good to see you guys again. I love you. I love you. I love you. So um, the first thing that came through in meditation, everybody, <laughs> was a black ribbon. Uh, it came through very strongly, actually. So like those remembrance ribbons or support ribbons, they've got all different kinds of colors and meanings. Usually it's it's like cancer. I think is kind of where it started off. But anyway, a black ribbon. I had to look up the meaning of this because I didn't know off the top of my head. Uh, many different meanings, but the one that was standing out the most was or is mourning and remembrance. And um, some of the other ones that came through on that, I'll just read to sleep disorders, because I thought this was interesting as somebody who is narcoleptic as well. It symbolizes sleep disorders, um, prisoner of war and MIA, as well as mass shootings. OK, so I don't like those other meanings as my, I mean, I don't not a fan of mourning or grieving, but uh, seems to be where we're starting here. Okay, Aquarius. The next thing that I was shown was this little, um, I don't even know, I'll just show you the picture here. This little house. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call that. Like, a, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it had four pillars on it, but one of them was blacked out. So only three of them were in white or were highlighted. So the roof of this building is sitting on these three pillars as if that black pillar was taken away. So you've got a square or a four-sided object on top of a three-sided base, essentially. Not very stable, okay? Um, like it'll hold hold something up as long as nobody breathes too heavy <laughs> around it, but there really is a need for that other support. Crucial pillar is what I was told. So this crucial pillar that's showing up in black. I'm feeling a connection to the black ribbon here too with that color. So something off limits is actually a major support for you right now was the message that was coming through. And my question on that is, is this like a remembrance of something painful? Is there a need to incorporate maybe uh, maybe you've you've left off a part of this process of grief? You've tried to separate from that or there is just something that is is. Um, over time, you have felt like just isn't okay for you to have a part of your experience anymore. Let's get into this. I'm, I am curious on where this is going. Always, always curious. So two Oracle cards did come out for you guys, Aquarius. Um, Starseed Oracle is what Spirit wanted to use here. So I remember Soul Plan, the Fated Life versus the Destiny Life. And then I'm sorry, Lo Siento defenselessness, writing past wrongs or, or, and uprooting. So, um, interesting. Okay. With the, I remember, I remember <laughs> that was coming through in the meditation as well with the black ribbon remembrance and mourning. So I do kind of feel like this has to do with something that has been lost. It may not be a person has transitioned or passed on from this life. It could be the ending of a relationship. Um, <laughs> Cleaving in twain is what I'm hearing. Okay, yeah, split into two. So maybe you were in a relationship with somebody you thought would last for much longer or forever. Be that familial, friendship, romantic, and it was cleaved in twain regardless. Uh, this feels like something with the faded life and the destiny life coming through. As far as a relationship especially, this was something that you feel maybe was a part of your destined life but maybe it was actually a part of your faded life so to explain the difference between that the book goes in to describe the faded life is what we are born into most of what we buy into yeah i guess we're kind of paid to be here <laughs> in a way so it's what you come into circumstantially your socioeconomic status your family whatever okay your destined life is the life that your soul wanted to move into, regardless of whatever the faded life started you at. 
this requires a surrender into that flow to move you into that place. So what I'm getting, especially with I'm sorry too, this feels very much like a relationship that has split that maybe was a part of your faded life to start and you wanted or felt like it, it should be a part of your destined life. And what I'm getting is that it simply was not ever meant to be that way. And that's not dismissing any of the pain that may be involved with this separation. Okay. Defenselessness, writing past wrongs and uprooting with I'm sorry as well. It could have even been some, for some of you, I feel in the vein of a relationship you have gotten to the point after this has ended, you've gotten to a point where you, it's like you're taking on more blame maybe than you ought to or make sense because it's difficult for you to accept that it just isn't there anymore. Whatever this, it, it could be a job, it could be a pet, it could be a partner, like I said, family member. It feels like you're almost blaming yourself, like blaming yourself for the pain you're in. Okay. So let's examine a little bit further what's going on with this shadow pil pillar. Hmm. That pillar to me, that's adding the final piece of support for you. It feels like it's wrapped up in your acceptance of whatever this black ribbon is talking about. Okay, so let's get into a couple other oracle messages and then we'll move into the tarot. The wild unknown animal spirit is what we're going with here. What do we have for Aquarius? Additional messages, please. My spiritual friends. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I hope you're hope you're doing okay. I missed you. I know we only do these signs once a month. Oh, a couple that came out here. That damn beaver. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what, this beaver has popped out for uh, probably half the signs I've read this month. So beaver and bear actually come through. Um, I get this, I don't like the word, not waffling, but mm, yeah, a vacillation between waffling, I guess. It just feels like there's not there's not a commitment behind the decision that's being made on which energy to pursue here. And this makes sense if there's something that's being avoided grieving wise. The beaver is a very um, hard worker. They're not always someone who initiates something, but they're there to to be a part of whatever's going on, to see it through, to finish it. There's family that's associated with this car too. And there's family associated with the bear as well. I get this feeling of back and forth between like the bear, this protective quality, kind of mama bear protecting the den. And um, release through action. Okay. What I'm seeing is energy moving through the body through motion. Mm, actually, that's that's a part of the bear here, too. So the book talks about uh, winter's over, right? You're coming out of hibernation, out of the cave here, and it takes some time to warm up them bones, <laughs> to limber up after, after this hibernation, okay? So I'm getting, I don't know, that makes sense. If you're not in motion in some way right now outside of, like, go to your car, go to work, go home, it would really benefit you always, but especially right now, to start walking, start adding some exercise, even like Qigong is something that would be really, really helpful. Having an intentional system to move things through your body. Okay, but be ready as that is coming up, that needs to be released. It feels like it's really burdening, like it's tainting every color in your vision right now, whatever this black ribbon situation is or was. You'll need to be ready to put your whole ass into this, though, to see it through. Once you start loosening that up and releasing it, get ready to see it through, okay? All right, so let's get into your tarot messages here. Which deck are we using? This may hurt. Well, unknown. That's right. That's right. Okay. 
Poor Aquarius here, please, Spirit, what's going on? What the hell's going on? <laughs> for my Aquarian friends. Huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello. Thank you so much for your love and support, as always. If you're interested in channel membership, becoming a member yourself, there's a join button right next to the subscribe. You can hit that, or there's a link in the description of this video as well. Uh, three different tiers there, too, you can check out, okay? Three of sword. Damn, you guys. This just, like, flew off to the side. So pain, loss, heartbreak. Yep, okay. Attaching this to that black ribbon. Yeah, something was definitely lost and painful. So with the three of swords, it's symbolizing that loss and pain. But our job is to take those swords out of the heart. To get to a place where it can start to heal. So like with the bear, we have to make the decision to get up, start limbering up, take those swords out. And get ready to see it through. Once we take that first sword out, it may hurt. It's going to hurt. There's still two more swords to go. I love that. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Um, I have private readings open and available, too. If you're interested in that, you can check out my website in the description of the video. So, Mother of Cups, this is your hope. Hopes and dreams. This makes sense. Your hope here is... Uh, into, okay, so intuition, healing protecting the emotions in a healthy way is something that the mother of cups talks about. So being in your hope, I feel like it's less, it's less that you want to protect it in a healthy way. There's something about just totally put fading that to black, fading that pillar to black. Like I said, you want to protect that. You don't, you don't even want to touch that. And I don't blame you, you know, who wants to go back to the past where it hurts. I, I, I get it. I mean, unfortunately or fortunately, though, that's the only way that we can heal is to go back through an event in an intentional way to allow ourselves to heal and to release things. So it's your hope to remain guarded and protected here is kind of what I'm getting. Um, but also this message of you're working to expand and ascend in a spiritual way and all of that is possible, but this pillar needs to be there. So you're reaching for that access to your intuitive abilities, but you don't want to touch what is actually making it difficult for you to tap into that in a consistent and clear way. Okay. Uh, Phantasma deck here. Sweet. So what do we have here for Aquarius? Please, Spirit. Please, please, please. And this is a general message, everybody, so please keep that in mind. You are very intelligent, my Aquarian friends. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which message is for you. If it's not for you, that's okay to leave it behind. And check out any other placements in your chart. We do have every sign in our chart. It just depends on which house, okay? If you want, check it out. Four of Cups here at the bottom. This is your fear version. Um, it's interesting that four with the stability too. There is this aversion to that stability. And it's not the stability itself. It's what is needed to provide that stability to illuminate that, that pillar. In doing this though, crucial pillar is coming through again. The four of cups is potentially missing an opportunity, an offer, something that's meant for us because we are stuck in sadness, negativity, um, laziness, maybe even spirituality, being hyper-focused on one thing. So being in your fear aversion here, I feel like you're sensing there's a need to illuminate that pillar and you would rather choose sand right now. <laughs> um, I get it. So let's get into this a little bit further, you guys. <laughs> so your general energy to start, you have the hermit. Yes. As we are in Virgo season, perfect. Hermit symbolizes the uh, Virgo. This is, um, it can be solitude, isolation. It's finding the truth, finding the healing energy, balm, action inside of ourself, realizing that everything that we do need or require for guidance for healing already exists inside of us the way that we access the energy that we require does not ever come from outside of us 
if it does, it comes through us and then is shown to us through our in, internal realm. So um, with the hermit coming in in the general, yeah, we're right on, right on track here. You guys are being requested to, that little, little lantern there, you're being requested to find the light that you need to illuminate that last pillar. And I, what I'm seeing is this, this light is, um, like I'm picturing this lantern here on the turtle's back, and it's zooming out, and there are these various cages or walls that are built up around it. Whatever this situation is that the black ribbon is referring to, the black column, uh, you didn't ever want to touch it again, and you don't ever want anybody else to touch it either. It feels like a very sticky, like tar. 1555 on the timer, 555. Five, five. It's time for change, you guys. And this is because you're requesting it, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. So the moon, yeah. <laughs> the moon comes in for the general next. So we're really drilling into where you are feeling afraid. The moon symbolizes our internal subconscious realms. So the light, the truth, the answer, the panacea, the cure that you're looking for right now is not more cowbell, turns out. <laughs> it is deep in your subconscious and it's connected to a fear. Your fear aversion right now is that column. <laughs> so here we go. It's time to it's time to illuminate that column. I feel like it's different for everybody as far as what this ribbon is referring to, but it feels like a person for for more of you, most of you, like a, re a romantic relationship, especially something that you thought or wanted to be forever that wasn't. It wasn't meant to be forever or it just wasn't forever. And so instead of working through that process of grief in that it was easier for you or um, it was all you knew how to do at the time to just turn the light off completely. Shut off oxygen to that event. No light. If I <laughs> I see like, uh, I don't know if you guys did this too, as kids when we were left at home before, you know, before it was more <laughs> legally uh, upheld, I guess. Being at home alone with my brothers and sisters, like if someone would knock on the door, we turn the lights off. You know what I mean? They can't see us if the lights are off. <laughs> That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. And I feel like it's because the adult of you, you as the adult, ha have not been allowed access to this portion of yourself. Like that inner child is the one who shut that down. It hurts so deeply to your core. It's time to come back as the adult here and, and take care of this, okay? So good stuff for you. Good stuff, Aquarius. Father of Wands. I, you guys are so heavily supported right now to, to do this, to examine this, to turn the light on the father of wands. This is your leadership quality. This is you. This is you as the adult. This is the adult. You, the father of wands is excellent at getting things done because they know how to put the team together. That's required to make it happen. So I see this as like the facilitator, that adult. The adult inside of you is gathering all these components up to your table. We're going to have a chat, okay? We're listening to everybody and making sure everyone's feeling heard. Now we're coming up with a game plan. This is what I'm feeling. You're being supported to do this. And I feel like you're, how do you want to put that? There are portions of your, of you as the adult here that are taking the spotlight. Like they're, There are qualities about yourself that are being illuminated to you from the divine that are strengths, okay, to, to facilitate taking care of this. And what I mean by that is, say you're out at the grocery store, just somewhere random, people keep complimenting the same thing about you, like, you're so patient, or my gosh, you're so kind, or whatever, some, some quality about your experience here. And the point of that 
is for you to see that you can do this, okay? That you have everything you already need. Deep inside, inside, Aquarius. To take care of this, okay? So, Ten of Swords too. Yes! Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Because <laughs> I'm sitting here like, I know you guys can do this. I know that you guys can approach, turn that light on, replacing that bulb, whatever this black ribbon or black column is. I know that you can do this. And at the same time, I know that not everybody is going to approach this. Either because the timing's not right or, and this isn't a, a personal failure, you guys. We're always going to have opportunities to approach everything in our life. There isn't ever a window that's like, oh, well, shit, <laughs> missed my train. <laughs> Might as well go sit on an egg, you know what I mean? There's not there's not ever a time where we don't have another opportunity to approach something. But this right now, you are, this is the, <laughs> what I'm seeing is an advent calendar. This is what is behind the door for the day. This is what's being highlighted and supported right now. So the Ten of Swords, this is your ultimate loss. Um, pain, ouch, ouch. Betrayal even. There could have been some sort of betrayal involved. With this black ribbon, the only thing that we can do with, or that we should do with the Ten of Swords is to leave that place. It's time to leave at the Ten of any suit. We're starting back over at the beginning. We can get weighed down here, though, and stuck in this box where we're still connected to the action of the Ten of Swords or the energy, the memory, because it's still providing something for us. Not in a healthy or positive way. Let's say this is... Or was a relationship that really meant something to you? There could be an attachment to that event subconsciously where you're not fully stepping away from it because that's all you have left of that situation. If you were to fully move on and heal from that, then you're missing your connection to that. And I don't feel like that's something that is consciously being understood right now. That's something that's kind of floating underneath here. But being in your good stuff with the Father of Wands, this is telling me that you're finally moving on from that. Whatever the reason is that that is still being stuck in your experience. Yes. Yay. Okay. Let's keep going. So what you don't see coming here, what's in the dark. Three of Wands. So your expansion, you guys. Three of Wands is about expansion. There's a there's a quality of things not being as they seem that's coming through right now, too. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, like, well, I guess that could be, like, a lens, too, looking through the, the porthole there. What I'm seeing is, like, a porthole on a ship looking through this. This glass is the view point to this black ribbon whatever this event or person is because you've shut that down from your conscious experience there's also this action of like well we're not gonna we're not gonna clean that window anymore either so it's been building up i don't know dirt oil whatever it's more difficult to see through right now and that's adding to this things are not the way that they appear what you are maybe looking back at intentionally or that comes up accidentally from time to time, there's something about that experience that has gotten so distorted or warped even that what you're seeing is not anywhere near the accurate event, what actually happened, okay? So you're being led into an energetic situation where you're seeing this. You're starting to pay attention. What I'm getting is like, like something may come up where, because this is your ship coming in, help arriving at ex exactly the right time or from a source you're not expecting. Somebody could be coming back from the past that maybe had a connection to that event too, or, or that person or um, something like that where information's coming up, somebody's saying something about it that's making you go, that's not what I remember happening at all. <laughs> and it's starting to get you to realize that maybe, maybe something is a little bit skewed about the memory on this. Okay, let's keep going. 
And two of cups. Okay. There's definitely connection here that is helping you see that differently. This is the help that's coming forward, that's aiding you in your expansion right now. Some form of connection. This could be, it could even be like someone new, you know, I don't think that's for everybody, but a new romantic partner coming forward. As far as that goes, what I'm getting is like, it's been, if this is you, this has been a while since maybe you've been in a relationship. If that black um, ribbon was a relationship, almost like you've, you sequestered yourself to the corner, like you're out of the game. This person reminds you of maybe what it's like to connect with somebody. And in that way, you're clearing the cobwebs. You're starting to see like, oh, maybe, maybe the lights were turned down a little bit too dim for too long. <laughs> I couldn't quite see what was going on. Um, for others of you, like I said, it feels like somebody connected to this event coming forward could be the actual person. I don't feel it in a way of like things are coming back together or you know, it's time to reunite. I'm not saying that's not possible, but that is not what this feels like. That situation ending was intentional. This this was needed for you to move over into your destined life. That person, place thing, animal, vegetable, mineral, that is the black ribbon. That is a part of your faded life. And there is a request for surrender. There's a need to let that go in order to move to where you want it to be. But it feels like you're in the middle. You're in that hallway in between death and rebirth. There's a need to fully let go there so that you can be born into something new. Can I get a little bit more information on this, please, Spirit? I'm curious. The Two of Cups and Three of, three of Wands. Whoa. <laughs> well, divine counterpart, a divine connection sent to you from the angels. You guys... Got some yummy chills on that. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I think the Two of Cups is a connection. It, it can be a relationship, friendship, business partnership, romantic partnership. Two people coming together, opposites attracting your divine counterpart even. Yeah, okay. It feels like from out of nowhere here, for some of you, there is a divine counterpart that's coming through that's making you want, not really making you want to, but is making you realize that you want to, there we go, is making you realize that you want to start putting work into this pillar, okay? Cool, I'm all for that. You deserve that, Aquarius, you deserve that. All right, so your challenge at this time, you have, uh, let me pick this up, Eight of Swords. So, um, this makes sense. Eight of Swords is a trap, feeling trap, stuck in the mind. But this is a self-imposed restriction, not blame or shame. This can happen as a Gemini. It's very Gemini energy, okay? <laughs> your fellow air sign here, you understand what it's like to get stuck in your head. Um, this is what this is talking about. Your obstacle here at this time is realizing that you do have a way through this. You may not see it right now, but maybe you need to turn up the light. Maybe there's a need to turn on the light. And in turning on the light, Turning on the light could be uh, putting yourself out there, trying to make new connections with people. Uh, you find there's a way through this trap, okay? Okay. And then Six of Swords, too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Six of Swords is a transition. So this is this is your transition right now, being stuck in that that hallway, like I said, from death to starting something new. The price to pay to take this trip or transition is something in the form of baggage. Something from the past must be released in order to take this journey. But this is a journey you want to take. There's a lot of relief that comes. Most uh, levity for on the heart is what I'm feeling. A lightness that you haven't felt before. <laughs> what I'm hearing is, New phone, who dis? Whoever this other person was, uh, I'm not saying that it didn't hurt or didn't matter to you, but with the connections that are coming forward 
for you, and this is coming from a place that you're not going to expect this, is going to make you go, <laughs> new phone, who dis? What? Who's that? <laughs> What's their name? Allow that to be a reality too. This is This is your destined life. Okay, allow yourself to move into that. All right, so let's get a mudra card for you here to close this out. And then I'm going to go into an extended reading. Uh, in the extended, we're going to talk about direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. Okay, Aquarius. So what do we have for Aquarius? Oh, okay. Aquarius here. Um, so mudras are hand signs. Symbols, gestures that direct the flow of energy in specific ways for specific purposes. So you guys got the upper hand. Keep cool. I'm going to read this to you here. Uh, Musti Mudra. A fit of rage always works in the end like an own goal. And scientific research tells us that it makes the brain more susceptible to further outbursts. Rage releases adrenaline and this makes one aggressive, whilst at the same time consuming energy. First, let off steam by drumming your left fist several times into the palm of your right hand. While performing the mudra, imagine yourself under a cold shower, which gives you a good cooling off. Then, take your time to consider carefully what you can do to change things and avoid future flare-ups. There is always a way. Have a good look for it. I master my life using a cool head and a big heart. And I think, actually, this... Did this come through for Capricorn, too? I think it was. The flare-up is, is what's standing out to me, because I've got... Something, I think it's ocular rosacea, uh, but it really flared up a couple of days ago. My eyes were just like swollen shut, basically. Um, very painful, but interesting that you got the same energy as Capricorn. You may have some Capricorn in your chart. I recommend you to check that out if you feel, if you feel that aligns for you. But what I'm getting with the helping of the rage here, whatever that black ribbon is, your divine masculine, your protector has gone into such overdrive that we're now in in shadow divine masculine that protective quality has been in play for so long that it is in shadow form that's where we're getting that anger so anger is not an emotion that we're trying to dismiss or that isn't okay and anger should also not be coming up at random times where we can't find a connection to it or be a persisting emotion either. They're all messages, but when anger comes up specifically consistently or in seemingly random times, that's a good indication that that is your divine masculine and shadow protecting the component that you decided you would never touch again, okay? So give this a go in meditation here and allow yourself to start getting to a place where you're illuminating what's been in the shadow there for so long. All right. I love you so much, Aquarius. And I hope that this is helpful for you guys. Like I said, I'm going to move into an extended here. If you guys want to join me, I'd love to see you. If not, that's okay. I also have personal readings available. Like I said, if you want to check that out, if this reading did resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell as well. All great ways to support me and the growth of this channel. And I truly appreciate it, you guys. And if you're feeling like it as well, you enjoyed this reading, I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. It isn't mandatory, but to those who have donated to the channel, thank you guys so, so much. It truly goes a long way. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Okay, Aquarius, I will see you all very soon. Please take good care of yourself, okay? Be well.